Hey YouTube, how you doing? Today I will be showing you how to get sound notifications every time you get a new subscriber on YouTube. Uh, there's not a way to um, enable a sound within the YouTube studio, uh, unfortunately, so we have to use a workaround. Um, this I'll be showing you in Google Chrome uh, because it's a Google Chrome extension that enables this. You may find that in other browsers there's different um, extensions or even the same one for different browsers, but I use Google Chrome, so that's what I'll be showing you today. Um, I'm showing you on a new channel I started a few weeks ago, my motorcycling channel, um, which is doing quite well, and I'm getting a few subscribers. So I wanted to see uh, and get a noise sound notification every time I get a new subscriber. So I'm just going to show you how to do this. So the first thing you need to do is get onto your channel dashboard okay and basically you need to get to the live uh, subscriber count page so we do that by uh, going onto your dashboard and then scrolling down to go to channel analytics if you go ahead and click that on the right hand side you'll see there's a blue um, text see live count so let's go ahead and click that as well okay and this is uh, what you need it brings up your little page here with your live um, subscriber count and you got it says it updating live and this little ping here will flash every now and then just like that um, just to show you that it is updating and you've got a little graph showing you how well your stats have been doing for the last few weeks or whatever anyway so here we are today um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and show you how we do this what you need to do open up a fresh page on Google Chrome and in the top right section, you'll see you've got this little extensions button. Uh, it might be hidden by default, so you might need to go into your settings and uh, just go and um, figure out how to get that to show up there. Uh, but mine's here because I use them quite a lot. So let's go ahead and click on that. OK, what we need to do then is go down to manage extensions. OK, and you'll notice on the left hand side, you've got a little tab here, Chrome visit the Chrome web store. So we're going to go ahead and click that as well. Okay, now the name of the extension we're going to be using is called Distill Web Monitor. So we're going to go ahead and type that in. And it's this one just here by distill.io. Let's go ahead and click that one. Okay. Uh, you won't be able to use it unless you add it to Chrome, so let's go and do that and then click through to the add extension. You have to allow it to do all this sort of stuff um, in able to use it, so let's get on with it. Okay, and it opens up a new page just here. Uh, what we're going to want to do first of all is go to your Google Analytics page, okay, and copy the URL just there. OK, and then head back to this section just here. Um, now, if you go onto the extensions tab at the top, you can pin it so it shows up and it's easy for you to find it when you want it. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do that just now. And then we will click on this little where uh, it's like a, a, a water droplet um, <clears throat> logo. So we click on that. Um, we're going to ignore this green button just here. If we go ahead and click on go to watch list, this will bring up a page of web pages that you're monitoring for changes. OK, so you'll notice it's empty at the moment because we haven't we're not monitoring anyth anything. Let's go ahead and click this button on the left. Add monitor and we need to select web page. OK, now we've previously copied and pasted your URL. So we're going to go ahead and paste paste that into the bar. And voila, it opens up your live subscriber account. Now, what we need to do, we don't need to monitor the whole web page. We only need to monitor when this number changes. OK, so we will go to select elements on the left hand side just here. OK, and you can see everywhere you go on the page, you can you, it will tell you, you can get a monitor notification when the uh, the image changes, the text and all that kind of stuff. Um, but what we need is this information just here. You can see the box around it that will highlight just a certain digit so you'll get notified every time that changes we don't want that we want it to be notified every time that the whole number changes so we go ahead and click that so it's highlighted okay and you can see it brings up the information just here um, which is in the box that you've highlighted so we'll go ahead and save selections okay now this brings up the options page so listen carefully whilst i go through this because there's a few options just here 
Um, we're going to go ahead and keep on to this, which is the default setting. And the same with the macros. If I'm honest, I don't really know what that is, but I don't need it to do what I need to do. So I'm going to skip through that part. Um, and just in here is the box with the URL that you're monitoring. Okay. Um, interestingly, the this will only work if you've got the uh, live subscriber pack count web page open. Um, okay, it won't do it in the background unless uh, you go ahead and download the desktop app for the Distill web monitor. Um, I haven't done that just yet, but uh, you can also get around it by disabling JavaScript, which I don't want to do on this laptop. So uh, I'm going to keep it as is and then just keep the page open when I want to know when there's new uh, subscribers. Okay, in the device section, Google Chrome this device, that's the only option we're given. Um, and you can just name this, whatever you like, because eventually you might have a list of different pages that you're monitoring. Uh, so I'm going to just uh, put YouTube subscribers. Okay, so next up, we've got the schedule checks. What this will do, the web monitor will check for the latest version of the website at a certain interval. Okay, so it starts off at five seconds and you can select any time uh, basically within this, to, you know, never if you want, uh, open-ended, uh, every one day, every hour, every five minutes, and everywhere in between. Um, so what I'm going to go and do, go ahead and do is put it to one minute, because that's a good interval at the moment. If you start getting loads of subscribers, it's going to be annoying with the bell going off every, uh, every one minute. Um, but uh, if you're getting that many subscribers, you probably won't want to keep hearing it anyway. So uh, let's get past that and leave it at one minute. Um, actions okay what we want to achieve is a sound every time you get a new subscriber so you've got four options just here um, it looks like there might be an option for more if you're logged in or whatever but uh, this is enough for what we need so you can go through the different sounds and listen to how they sound this one's quite abrupt Okay, that's a bit lost, uh, that one. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go with bell strike just to give you a nice little sound every time. You can also set up a pop-up notification which comes down in the bottom tray area just here uh, when you get a new subscriber, but I don't want that, so uh, I'm going to get rid of that. And also, you can get uh, sent an email every time you get a new subscriber. Again, I'm not interested in that either, so we're just going to go ahead and gloss over that. Just leave these pieces as they are. And the label, no label found. I don't know what that means, but I don't care either. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay. And you can see now that you've got your little list here. And it is checking at the moment. So it's last checked at 402, which is just now. And it's telling me that it uh, is still 495. So it's the same as it was when we started. Um, but that's basically how you do it. So I hope you found this um, helpful. If you have, please consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, if you're interested in motorcycles, go and check out my other channel. But um, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back for more tutorials soon. Catch you later.